What's up everybody? Welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority and today I'm going to put to the test butter gadgets. Let's see what I got. For the first gadget I got here butter spreader. Let's open it up and see what it does. So I got here butter, going to cut it in half. Boom. Going to take it off of this plastic piece. Stick it into here. And I guess you close this down this way. So I got here toast, it's the best to use it when it's hot. So that way it will melt butter. You just push it right here and the butter comes out. And look at that, you can just butter it up really, really well. Just go a little bit lower. Check this out and you see the butter melts. So this gadget probably best to do it with a hot toast or something hot like maybe corn. So that way you don't even have to use a knife, you just push it down and use it. Look, it actually comes out a lot of butter, melts a lot of butter into the toast. Especially if your butter is frozen, that way you don't have to worry about using a knife on a really, really hard butter. The toast will melt it and boom, look, it's almost all the way to the top came in. I pushed out a lot of butter and it used it all. I can go a bit more. Boom. And it uses half a stick of butter. Once you run out, you just put another half a stick of butter in there. But look at that. You can really butter up your toast a lot. This is probably too much, but this is just for example that is pretty easy to use. And when you're done, you just put the cover back on, put it in the refrigerator. Wow, thumbs up for me, definitely works really well. But this gadget only uses half a stick of butter. What do you do with the other half? Now this piece of butter is exposed. It's wrapped up with paper all around except here. You're going to stick it in the refrigerator, oxygen heats it. I know, it might go bad. So, you wanna get the butter saver right here. Let's try to put it on. Boom, very snug fit. Now the butter is not exposed into the air, so it's going to obviously stay good longer and fresh. Such a simple design, but works really good. For that reason, huge thumbs up for me. For the next gadget, this is Butter Boss. I don't even know what it's all about. I just ordered it because it looked cool. So let's open it up and read description how it works. Oh, you know what? I think I know what it looks like and what it's all about. It's just a butter dispenser. So check this out. You spin this, it goes forward. Spin the other way, goes the other way. But I love that there is a layer holder of the butter so that way it's not gonna fly out. Looks like this one is only going to hold a half a stick of butter as well. So let's do that. All right, cut the butter in half. Stick it without the paper because you don't want to eat the bits and pieces of paper. And then we're going to stick it this way. Oh, very nice. Very nice and tight fit. Check this out. Fix this up. Maybe use gloves. And even cooler part is the lid has measurements. If you need one tablespoon, half a tablespoon, pretty cool. And the coolest part, if you need butter, all you have to do is spin this. The butter will dispense very easily. Cut off a piece that you need. Then you can spin some more out. Cut off a smaller piece if you have to have it. Boom, easy. And if too much sticking out, not a big deal. Look, you have more space for it to stick out. Set it in the refrigerator, set it on the table for the breakfast time. This is just amazing. Let me show you another use you can do with this butter dispenser. Okay, this time I got a couple bagels. I'm gonna take my butter dispenser and open it and look at that. I can just rub it like that. Ooh, it's hot. While it's hot is the best time to do it. So that way it's not soft and it's melting the butter. Look how much butter it melted. I have to dispense more. Check this out, so beautiful. I like really buttery toasts and bagels. Who does not like butter? Butter is so delicious and dangerous because you don't want to eat too much of it. 
Ooh, hot. So as you can see, it really works very, very well. Super buttery and dispense a lot of it. Check this out. Pretty, as you can see, very easy to butter your toast all the way, every single corner. Look how shiny it is now, full of butter. And we don't have to use a knife, just use one of those things, very, very convenient. I love it. Now just gonna put it back in the refrigerator. There's a lot of people who like butters like that, a big blocks, not those sticks. So I have gadgets for that. So usually you would get butter, knife, and how do you do? You would have to scrape it up, not super comfortable because it's frozen. If you try to cut off a big piece, it won't spread as well. Let me demonstrate. There's a toast. You see how it's not spreading. Ah. Even the bigger chunks. Maybe what you'll have to do is just go like this to get a little bit of a butter. But again, it's not comfortable, it crumbles up and it melts right in the middle, but not spreads to the corner. So that could be very frustrating. So this is why I wanna put to the test couple of the butter knives, but very different compared to these simple ones. Let's check it out, this butter knife, first of all. Okay, first of all, this butter knife, check this out. It actually works. Look at this little rice butter, what do you call it? This like macaroni butter looking like. And then whenever you get a toast, it softens the butter, supposed to be a lot easier, but as you can see, not so much. I'm like crushing the bread. Even though it's kind of softened it by going to even though this butter is really, really frozen. You see, uh, it's still kind of hard to use it. You know what? So far, this gadget is a lot easier to use than this butter knife. It's honestly not much difference compared to this one. I can do pretty much same thing like this and get a bunch of small pieces and thin pieces. Yeah, it's actually easier to spread it with this regular butter knife than this one, in my opinion. But that's okay, I have another butter gadget right here. This is what they explain it to you. You can pull the butter this way and make this kind of loops. Also, you can scoop a butter, make a little scoops, I know what for. And also, you can scoop it this way or that way. Hopefully, it works better than a regular butter knife. Okay, first of all, I should use a scoop. Nice. Obviously works really well. Then I'd have to scoop it out like that. Eh, almost. Okay, let's start to use different side of the butter. Let me go like that on it. Whoa, look at that. That is a cool way to maybe serve the butter. You can make a bunch of slices like that and lay it on a plate. It's time to go again. Check this out. They're actually very, very beautiful. And maybe you can serve some butter. I don't know what I would use it for, but I like it. Look how beautiful that is. And then I guess whenever you serve it, People could get a piece of butter, that way it cools off, you can spread it really easily. And eh, not so much. The butter stick dispenser is much easier as you can see. And for the next gadget I have here another butter spreader. Hopefully this one works really well. Okay, I got a couple more toasts over here. Let's see if this butter gadget works. It looks like a grater, if you look at it. That's pretty interesting butter knife right here. Okay, let's try this out. First of all, I'm gonna zoom in on a grader. And let's go like that. Wait, you gotta go this way. Whoa, look at that. That is so satisfying. I'll tell you that's for sure. And you put it on a hot toast. 
check this out. This is so cool. Put on a hot toast. Again, not the easiest compared to butter sticks. Nothing beats the butter sticks. Okay, let's go again and again. Look how cool that is. Ooh, I dropped it all. And put it on a butter. Looks like it melts the butter really good pretty fast. But I really like this gadget because it's just so satisfying. Check this out. One, let's see if I can go two. Two, and then grab all the butter. Ah, lost some. And put it on the toast. And spread it like that. It should melt pretty good. And also you can use it as a regular butter knife like this. Check this out, or even like this. Smooth it out, put it on the toast, same way. Let me show it to you from this angle. This is gonna be a new viral trend. Instead of cutting soap, people are gonna start cutting butter. You know, for those most satisfying videos. Let's try this again. Wow. I mean, for real, look how amazing and beautiful that is. And it's so easy. I like it. I shaved off too much butter. So that way you can soften the bottom and whenever you spread it, I guess it's supposed to be a little easier. I like it because it's unique, satisfying, but again, this butter dispenser are so much easier and better to use. For the next gadget, I got here butter melter. Let's see what it's all about. I don't know if you guys like seafood. I love it. And every time I eat seafood, they give you a little bit of butter. But a lot of times it goes cold pretty quickly. So halfway into it, you eating your seafood with cold butter and it's starting to solidify. So these ones are going to keep it warm the whole time. So let's test it out. So let's light it up. Just a tea light, candle, whatever they call. Drop it in here, simple. Regular size will fit in there as well. Next, you just need a piece of butter. I might need more. And then you stand it up into here and let's see how fast will it melt. Okay, now that butter is melted, let's check this out. I have here fish food sticks. This is crab. Oh, look at that butter. That looks good. This is a cheaper butter. That's why it has so much fat floating around, but it's all pretty warm. I mean, oh yeah, it's actually hot. So that way you can grab your food, seafood, dip in butter, and it always stays warm really, really well. Look, it's almost boiling. It keeps it really, really hot. Pretty amazing. And if you want to stop warming it up, just blow up the candle. And if you want to warm up the butter again, turn it back on. Very simple. Melts the butter really fast and heats up already melted butter even easier. Thumbs up for me. I love this gadget. Never seen that before. Alright guys, that's pretty much it. Let me know in comments below which butter gadget was your favorite. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time.